wife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom, you want me to come through? I'm gonna get to the roof, fly down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. Well, what's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. You got room for two of you? Wait, wait, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. than this before, you know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Bruiser is never gonna make it without me. Alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez, what happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it. Was it Rippers? Cleon did this.
right behind you. Having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. Finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? I used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Boozer. He must be heading down there. Search him. <laughs> Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the pull it, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you, we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eat alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no. I got it right. Here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said. Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it, you goddamn liar. Do it. <laughs> Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. Uh. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn what? Son of a bitch. Guess that's a fuel line unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. Oh. 
Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No. I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well, yeah. Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. Do you think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Something's blocking the road. Careful. I saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! Uh, uh. up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? Blow me your shotgun, I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. Bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Hey, hold up. How many miles has you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Sounds like you got your wish. Bro, bro. 
I think he's dead. You're gonna break my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Just drop it. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Another nest. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Oh. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This will just take a sec. That'll do it. Give me a sec. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, I was turning the bounties, 
we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. Just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How you stinking son of a Shits. Jesus. Still gotta find a way into Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh, how, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere.
there's a way in through the roof. of a dead man! Dead symbols of the lost! Get off me! Son of a bitches! Biker man! You must be brought low, Biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. We will show you. You are not one of the found! You are the lost! You are lost! Get low! you wait out here. Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. Why? Well, not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out and find some shit for your arm to get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Now. 
this more than you. Yeah. I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were saying before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Ah, oh, damn freakers. This is it. This is where we left it. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland! I don't know nothing! Hey! I bike! I didn't do nothing! Oh god damn it, alright now I'm gonna kill you. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike? Nope. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, he just parted it out. 
Mm, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? Okay, like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and... Let's talk. You had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah. He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well... We'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, cool. I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but... Uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, I told you, I didn't... Manny, you know, just let me look. in a goddamn bike.
Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Oh, ah! oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, I'm blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. I got All it! All right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine.
there you are. This has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, though, would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. got here a map yes i just finished clearing the radio tower for you don't sound like like yourself it's uh, it's nothing you know i just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes i let her go one of these days deke that code of yours is gonna get you killed <laughs> Yeah, well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Wizard's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. It's just I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Dick and out. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, 
Oh, shit's killing me. Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. I'll find out when I get there. Deacon out. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Burn, you asshole. Got you. Come on! Squad, yeah, wait for me, huh? Maybe useful. Yep. At last. Okay. <laughs> the last of them. Yeah. 
scrap. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, he's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Just rest up, booze man. Rest up, or we'll ride north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Who's your arm? You heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find the island stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, loser. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah. Deke. Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? place up. Then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet. Silver. Okay. If I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. Oh. Catch this man, oh. then radio me. Oh. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. Oh. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Hey, Deke, you there? Up, that about right. Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out like you just chop it.
frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give drifters a bad name. What if you'd shot Manny, you know? Who'd fix my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. Screw you! You are a Copeland's toadies! You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. Uh, you tell him. Worked on these coordinates and sent him out of here. You hear me? Is he alive? Hey, Drifter. Drift, Drifter. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's going to stay that way. Deacon out. You tell him, Drifter. You tell him I said go. He goes, go, so. Deke, you there? I crafted you a couple of items if you want to swim by. Loser, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Peeking out. St. John, this is Cope. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to have guns for me, is all. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him. Can't seem to reach him. When you see him, you can tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. Much appreciated. Moving out. Mass grave. I keep forgetting it's so close to old Leary Mountain. Don't ask me how. Boozer, you there? Just calling a checkup on you. Yeah, do you come here? You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Uh, I'm so... God, just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Station zone. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skin folks in this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them. Use this.
That's it. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper. It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Well, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere. I'm gonna chase them down and I'm uh, uh I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. More bounties. Hold on, they're slowing down. It looks like they're stopping.
heard something. It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. Anyone else here? It's civilian! Well, I am not going to ask you again! Out, Two a.m. 
my turn on the two year olds. <laughs> Boozer, you there? Open up. Is that good? Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at that dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I'm telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers, this morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I, I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be in two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit. Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. I know we can't. Keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. 
with men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in a pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like her, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing as long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. What's going on? Hey there. Okay. Yeah, see, get the lead out. You wanna eat? Alcott. Okay. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got? Because I don't have time for your bullshit. Coming. Open the gate. Cope says he's been helping out around again. Hey, Cope. I think Liam was bringing you this. Oh, Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Deke, you keeping an eye on... gas tank. The one with the custom paint job you've been asking about. Hey, Manny. You... Yeah, not bad. Can you 
use this. Here. You got that? You can feed wherever the hell you want, but not here. This camp is mine. It's not yours. You got that? Hey, babe. Yeah, I, I cleaned them out. They won't be bothering you no more. Uh, hey, me again. Steve, I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was going to be a life like this. Fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. Don't lose a name. I a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sir, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hold this here as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. I 
remember this. I think I can walk. Mm. Almost there. Okay. Mm. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged the hell. Yeah, she's burning off. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. Mm. Little sister. So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on, oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want me to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Because mm. we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just hide her head in her coat just like that. Mm. I've been good my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at her. We gotta move. We gotta go that way. Ah, uh, come on. All right, hey, sweetheart, can you move? Close your head. Yeah, I got her. Go find us way out. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You right her. So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about you. I'm being killed. I'm sorry, sir. Do anything. 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 She's not whatever the hell's going on out there. She's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? Wait, wait, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Let's go. We gotta get on that. We gotta get on that. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know. Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me.
You, uh, you rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, and I know, yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. Like they're stopping.
Ah, oh, finally. Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. Yes. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here. Shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No, no, not, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, and he's alive, Boozer, he's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down, if I can, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, <laughs> that's great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. Great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think. Just throw your just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Oh, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. 
I had Nina tell him. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, I'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I just... Just give me a second. There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> You weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so... The company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and uh, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clean! We got company! All right, gentlemen. Hit him again. Now you let that bike go, boy. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Yeah, man. Don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Shit! I'm out. Roll, goddammit! Jesus. Oh my god. No, no. Uh, oh my god. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. Oh. oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna, no gonna do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here. Until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion. He searches the path. He's got it,
Jesus. Scrap. This is it.
just gotta set it here. All right, kid, where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. Uh, <laughs> That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. It was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... Got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So so I hid. I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here. There's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people. I know them. It's. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a work camp. And to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard. No. But at least you ain't gonna starve. No. Uh, no, my mom's coming here is for it, me. Okay. Is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Okay. Lots of sick people. No.
some more ammo. some credits. Have you ridden before? No. Just climb on behind me. Hang on tight. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa... Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? What's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? You don't talk much to you. My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, that, that sounds great. We used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow, and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Yeah, okay. Men coming! I see you hiding. He's hiding. Get him! All right, Jesus.
Lisa? Kid? Come on out, it's safe. Hop on. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the cab. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Open up. Okay. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, had shh, shh. chicken. It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's She's been through a lot. Can we just... Let me worry about how No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> Don't get soft on me, Deke. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs.
Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. Yes. You got Finally. it. Nice Jesus. shot. Jesus. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. <laughs> He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. See if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Uh, way to do it. Yeah, I had Cope give you a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, shit. I don't believe it. Thanks, Tim. See you, Boogie Man. Funny how it still works in a world he never 
concern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carry is indicated. Should be just over here. Yeah. Damn it, where is I it? I heard something. Ah. Speculation as to Tabanisatratus is confirmed. Lots of reports from this year, but I have the suit on. I tell you, Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a Corbius minus or mule deer, as if anybody could check that. Striation of the larger muscle masses indicate infection of full constraint HB. We'll take sample to confirm. Now look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. You lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what did that mean? Something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Come on, stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero, protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... Civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? All what? Right? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's time, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 7 were burning. states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero, for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Where are there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please. I, you have to get out of here. You, you don't know these men. You, you don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night.
what the cat dragged in. Shit, sorry, I didn't mean to be gone that long. It's gonna be dark soon. We got enough wood? Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. That should do it. How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Deke, you have a ride with a drifter, or scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt... Maria, right? Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, yeah, I know where it is, and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Get the lead out. Get back to work. Now. Yeah? Yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are part of it. Yeah, looks like Limbo. Hey, Tuck, I'm here. Yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever. Hey, Tuck, I'm here. Yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home said his face was scarred, so, uh, more, please, well, he wears a green coat. Uh, you were saying something?
use this. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Find that son of a bitch. Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ugh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. 
clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to al -Kai. Hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough. You know, but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, the son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, I can get Boozer patched up. We're going to ride north. Fresh start. You know, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know? Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. Oh, no, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. 
Excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm going to collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not, I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender, you, you want me to pick lavender? Yep, and bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here.
<laughs> well, gallantry is alive and feral after all. No, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay. I actually had to look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Find the path. They're dead, asshole. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Burn, you asshole.
She's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? At the gathering. She's got to be out here. So I cut away my team. I cut away my No one is joining you. Hey, look. You're found. You know? This way. She's got to be this way. Lisa's got to be out there. Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Shut up. It's, it's me, it's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run there as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right, don't stop no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Rippers! 
Please get down. safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Madison, you know to... Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with the She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. They're coming. They're gonna... They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Is there what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Closer, it's me. Stay there. It's deep. Let's just Don't calm come down. any closer. Let's just I will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! You. Ah! Take on, buddy. No, I will not!
Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I, I heard him. I heard him. I heard voices. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You know blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. <laughs> Sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, you know, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. Look, I got this. But it was it was in my head, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I just... Yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Okay. Where are we going? Deep. Do you remember when we first rode out of town? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figured you'd get all purdied up before heading in. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 I'm just, just sick of it. <sighs> No, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or one is back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not going to kill anyone. You good? Never better. <clears throat> what the hell, man? Let's go back. There's nothing here. You heard them. Fine, same as me. Probably some drifter. Now we're dragging me out here. What? We're supposed to guard the camp, not wander around jerking off. Could have been rippers. Oh, oh, against the two of us. Really? We could get them before they... No, 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 no. See, that's what we thought, too. Me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. We are not far from here. We kept to the shadows. It might but the moon was We know rippers are the next. We heard them coming first. We can They were coming straight out of hell. There were maybe four we could see. So we open up on them. And they don't they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him and I fired him. You fired? Yeah, I killed him. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better at that.
Something's up here. Who was that? Something's out here. Damn time. Something's out here. How the hell are you gonna keep the peace with a bunch of crazy ass lunatics who got themselves? How could you trust anything like that? What's up? These are people, not freakers. That's debatable. This kid's those right. The only thing these assholes understand is force. We sign a peace treaty like we're the goddamn union. We show them we're weak. Something's here. You see anything? Yep. A rock. Was that a rock? Something's out here. You see anything? <laughs> hey. I heard it too. out here. What'd you find? Oh, got shit. Iron Mike. Mike Schizo. Son Raymond of a bitch. And the men we buried, they were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to... What the? It, Someone throwing rocks? Raymond, it's Carlos, and you know it. I saw something. We gotta hit back. back. The rippers are gonna... Schizo, Someone's out here. Just Anything? leave it yeah. to me. What? And what about the next one? And the next... Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer. Here. There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those Radio Free Oregon broadcasts. Claims they got hit by rippers. So now you're listening to that nut job, Copeland. Well, he may be a nut job, but I think he'd know a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher knife. Something's here. Hey there. They're not here. But you can go in and see for yourself. We'll come back. You know, Addie don't like it, you snooping around in her business. Hey, you said it. Not me. I'm not laughing. Now, come on. Come back later when Addie... There it is. I just gotta find a way inside. Well, let's just hope you're still Addie will take care of it. Got it. What's up? Hey there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What, what the hell are you hell? doing in my uh -uh. infirmary? Oh, are you going to shoot me now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code. Right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> what are you selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. Like, had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? 
I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like... So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rope camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking? Sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Sir, get back! Don't make me blow your goddamn oh, head sir. off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey, hey, it's uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky, what? Tomo? Yeah. That's what. Tomo to the Lost Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Boozer? You doing all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I, I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. 
I can ride, damn it. Not sick. Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He's gonna get us killed. He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just, look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Oh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the... I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky, how about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, no, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. start with me. So you're the one who brought him in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. Ricky told me you, you stopped running for Tucker. Sent that little oh, girl here right. instead. You're hooked up with Addy. I'm sorry I lied to you go before about doing lost. runs for Tucker. How long you been drifting? No, it's not my you and job. Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. Your folks don't put down some roots. 
Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hole up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. <sighs> Gotta find a list in life. Head to Sherman's camp. escape. Down here. Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. that knife you were looking for. Thank you. You have no idea how bad you need this. No problem. Glad to help.
back. I'm gonna run, I hope. I worked at the Humane Society. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Out here, there ain't nothing but murder and drifters. And when someone needs help. Kill the son of a bitch! Look, there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? where is Show me. I'll go. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, I was done for. Holy shit, you know. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. Jesus, don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 it's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order the without same question. Team, Brian. It just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help. Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... I shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon. Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? 
Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this? You still have the tracking devices I gave you. Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. This just gotta be it. What the hell are you guys doing out here? while it was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you murder with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, well, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien.
Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, mm. Booze Man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Boozer. Hey, hey you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Mm. Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. Uh. There is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Uh. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. They were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane? He's doing the haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guy's got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alike. Shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? 
Time? Time for what? All I know is, I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. Now. Oh, Can use this.
Maybe we'll fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let him know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Talk to us right now. Wait, that's Deacon. Behind him. You, you, right up the road. And make sure they don't come back. Gunshots, what's going on? We had to run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. 
Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Uh, yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. I guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Listen, Not we need to do this, arm. and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Huh? Don't you... F oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Stop. Wait! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Dig. Dig. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! Damn it, we're losing. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the door. Ah! 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 Oh! No, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking and hold him. I'm trying! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. 
Like to Deacon St. John. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is going to be there any minute. I'll Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices.
Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful... red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Think so. Sounds like they're clearing Shit. freaks. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, kill him. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. Find this guy, deacon out.
Beacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Beak. Nothing. I, uh, I'm tired of listening to Radio Free Oregon. You know, they take so much of this truth and bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, Ad Addie told me how we did it. Okay, uh, and I, whatever it was. I'm sorry. Deacon out. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon. What a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. 
Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. Alright, I'm not gonna let you do that. Another bounty. Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? <laughs> yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. You think they're coming up from California? The highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. How. God damn. Now, they stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we... Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay. Come on. Let's head back. All right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. 
Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Hey John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. Uh, something you need, Deke? Sorry, just wandering around. <laughs> Mike, 
The place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? Where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. called a truce a meeting right here oh we knew what was coming we knew what was coming and we were prepared fight didn't last long but it was bad They had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You, Mike. You didn't get I am talking about the war that's coming! With the Rippers! The one that Schizo so hot for! You think he cares how many die? On either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on. I gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my. Okay. All right. This is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? No. Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey. I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out of the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you.
think this is going your way. that shit. You 
know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm going to get everybody killed. Well, who are you, Mike? Are you going to get everyone killed? Greeks aren't going to be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're going to need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look, here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, my truce will hold. You can bet on that. Ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore since I'm. Deke, you gotta hurry. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. I need the area secured now. And this time, I need Spread you to find those trackers on their helo. They're jumping. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And I can't, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. All good. Come on, guys, just gotta clear. All clear. Can't let them see me. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Think you could stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas right. station. In case you didn't see that sign says gas low. But no, nah, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? How much longer do you think we got? No idea. We're done when the doc says we're done. Here we go. We now 2060. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, Near Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the Cascade truck Highway stop. Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures? cabins, things like that. We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them or wild animals we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yep. yes. Anyone else hear that? Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. I heard so. Find the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. 
set. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus and Brian. <laughs> Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. It wasn't even my turn on the duty road. going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, i got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better.
Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. This is it. Can use this. Let's see. Shit, there he is. Can use this. Vince, man, come on. Oh, no, you're not going to get away. <laughs> Don't let him get away, DJ. man. What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, here? I got him, and I'll uh, send Where's you his position. Fight? Send someone out here to pick him up. Wait, Does please, he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man.
Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I got to go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. OK, good. I'm going to go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary... Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. Look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. We'd work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Well, then, yeah, I, I heard that, too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a 
I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, it. I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow. You are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of our duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. You didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. Well, it looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. This isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stop. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. 
so I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines myself. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. <sighs> Okay, got it. Right there. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nests. And the smell of it more than a couple. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. Yeah, it's been a while, but I've remembered. Light her up.
you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Pete. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned him before, so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, that's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey. Hey. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deacon. Come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to oh. snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Bring a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Stay put. Keep your head down. Is that it? Hmm? You've been a camper. I can't. So shit. Oh, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? Out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? I'll just 
just go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice and good. I think that's the last of them. No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. You think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Look, we wear it because we wear it. What do you want? I mean, no ID 
be a boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and the hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, saw something you won't believe. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addie, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Dee, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I wonder about the freakers sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything. Evidently, our... O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Okay, wait a minute. I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your ass. Come, we still open before. Don't think of it as my heart. Beat, beating Tom for my opposition research. Brian out.
of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted. Fingernails less claw-like, as if recently okay. chewed. DOS, DOS, drifter on site. Code 2, everyone. Huh? Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw like, as if recently chewed.
Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... I'm sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. What it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, then they head out the door for a fun day of meeting us and shitting themselves. What the hell are these guys here wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. What the fuck was that? O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman. I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out.
Booze man, how you doing? What's it look like? See you later. Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they... No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance uh... was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days? Huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Such knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <sighs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. 
Going. Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. Well, I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. The Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking notes. Gotta hate those little suckers. I finally agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you on with this room. Yeah. Ready? You can make something out of this. Jammed with something from the inside. No idea.
is not. Gizzo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Okay. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, hand them Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Oh, got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, uh, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Looks like they boarded it up. Oh, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It doesn't seem so bad.
You all right? And no broken bones. Jesus. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Well, we're committed to this shit now. Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping players. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. It's gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Go left here. Yeah. Come here. What? He's your man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. Do you ever resort to that? lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving it for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? Well, you think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Well, now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the, it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Oh, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. <laughs> what the hell? Look out! Get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where you going? It's got the keys! We gotta catch it! Shit, get back here! Come on, you shit, get back to 
those fucking keys. Fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks at him? Supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah, I'm ready. This way. Rose off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. There's the rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongrels. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking a treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, oh, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. So, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what's hiding out there? Sitting in your pants. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I admit it. All right, uh, split this, sister. Thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess. Ah, shoot the assholes! Got it! Lay it into him! Ah, give it to him! Kill him! Not moving, huh? 
I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? Hey, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But... A lot of people know what you've done for your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back, that's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Skizzo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these, uh, farmhouses. This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? Nope. Not in here. These are his boot prints. They gotta be. This looks like it. Good book to read. 
whiskey bottle empty. Wait a second. Case of beer. This is it. Alright, what have we got? Back on track. Beer bottle, empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Schizo's right. He's heading home. He's on foot. He can't have gotten far. I'm gonna need my bike. Boozer. Booze, man. Hey, Dick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, which? Oh. Oh, the other farm. Dick, I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I go for a walk, you know, like, just go. Oh, and so, uh, I just walked to, uh, the other farm, you know? Oh, old MacDonald had a farm. He, uh, he, uh, ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. All right, where? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh, I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze. I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. <sighs> Already told you. Oh, oh, look at that shit. Get what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's ah, wow. This is it's gone. Like like somebody came and just swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. God. I'm walking and walking. And, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are 
you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Home. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Damn it, Boozer. Closer look. That's gotta be him. Which way? Gotcha. What do we got? There you are. Oh, Prince. Bingo. I'm gonna need my bike. I can't give him a ride without my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, followed your tracks. Just, like you taught me, uh... Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? Stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get in control of the door. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! So this is it? This is how we're going out? No, 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 I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were going to drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed the bottle. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was going to drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? This is how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster, then. Cars! Wreck cars. I see him, loser. You okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, what is that? Thank you. So, oh, who... I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to... You want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Well... I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh... it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. 
Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, it was old Deacon. Oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Booster. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. On guard, you fucking that's ripper. Right. Pretty oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? You yeah, made it. Damn it. Okay. Make forever a day or two, will ya? My husband used to work tools the way I. Can you help over there? My first one. I was at work. Last day, it turned out. Behind the counter, a small coffee joint. Farewell. Hold on. Well, Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Will you listen to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey, hey. You headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Schizo's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Schizo, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Headed. Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's, it's just north of the Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. I haven't heard that for a while. Yeah. Hey, let me know when the LC's locked down. All right, spread out to get the perimeter. I don't want any screw ups this time. Standing by. Let's 
offset. Field note 2102. After analysis of SCAD samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia profoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Yeah. Please don't interrupt. Hey, anyone else hear that? Those malicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <sighs> freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished. Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. What the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'll lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, I'll try. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so... So she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. The infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. All They're about hordes. I knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. 
You could have saved a few lives. That there was no hope, there was no time, there was no room, okay? There was, we'd already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, god damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Look, what the hell is this? All right, what have we got? Uh, this way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that It sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go, all right? Peeking out. <laughs> all right, where? Back on track. What the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, shit, he's just a dog. 
They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We can't do it here. Here, let me. Jesus, Dee. It's okay, just... That's it. All right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. You ready? Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. Sounds disappointed. I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know. If you hadn't made this shit for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I guess I'd... Well, you know. You gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like you need this thing, right? Yeah, okay, come on. How'd it go? How'd it what go? You know, goddamn what? Your guy in the spacesuit. What'd he say? Ah, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Hey, sure, I can... <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Can't bring gonna feed itself. Okay. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Hey. Than you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done.
Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp. Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell is you, bro? He's getting run duty today. What the hell, man? Would you, sh sh shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by Rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling you? For months? Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Dink. The road camp is kind of in the opposite direction. Isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Confirm, Schizo. you guys. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. That's it. Hey. Take some bread. You, you've each prepared your own vow? Well, uh, traditionally, the, the groom goes first. 
I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. Uh, you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, let me, let me just go.